Welcome back to uh, St. Mary's Spotlight. You know, from time to time we jump on here and we spotlight different things that are going on around the community and around here on campus. Today, we got Janet Helms on here. Hey, Janet. Hi, everybody. Woo! Now, if you remember just a couple weeks ago, Janet Helms led a uh, inner healing prayer uh, time for us uh, on a Tuesday from 2 to 3.30. And uh, it was really powerful. There's some really great things that, that happened there. Yeah, um, there were some people who had some uh, great moments of healing. Uh, there were some mm -hmm. individual prayers where you invited people up and you led them through a healing process. There was a healing of forgiveness that happened. It went over so well that Janet is coming back to do it again on March 3rd from 2 to 3.30. Now, it's going to be a little different this time where more there was more some individual uh, prayers that are happening, individu individual moments of healing. But now you're going to explore more of a, of a group, group healing, yes. which is the kind of the work that you do a lot in Africa. Would you like me to give an example? Sure. Or just tell us what, what it's all about, what it looks like. It, well, this example happened in Africa. and um, I was there and I spoke to 17,000 people at their diocesan conference. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so I was really, really, uh, losses really was a big issue in that diocese because Joseph Coney rebels really attacked those people terribly, horribly. The stories there are not even, I wouldn't even go into it now in this format, but, but let's just say that uh, I just did a group healing of losses and asked people to stand up if they are still feeling the sadness and the woundedness of what happened to them, especially at that period of time. Everyone had a loss. Some of their children were taken to be rebels, and but that, this was the diocese. It's the largest diocese in, in the country of Uganda. Right. So, a, the stories kept coming in after I left about the people that had healing. So it's I like the group healing thing because it's sort of a, a covering over everybody. You can engage. You need to still engage and want the healing. So that's why when I asked people in Uganda to stand up, that was a way of them stepping into it. Because it has to be some of your will and releasing some of your own ideas to let Jesus do what he needs to do in your heart. Yeah, that's the key. Is that what, so inner healing is going to create the permission for you to invite Jesus to do the healing. And so inner healing prayer, if you're not familiar with it, it is that's what it is. It's an entrance. It's a way of Jesus to come in uh, to, to heal the loss, the grief, which is the focus that you'll be doing on any kind of loss. And this is loss. It doesn't have to be like you lost a loved one in your life. This can be the loss of a relationship, the loss of a job, the loss of your feeling you lost memories because of you moved from a place to a, to a new city and you feel like you lost your community. So any type of place where there's grieving, where there's loss, Janet's going to lead you uh, on a, in a way of inner healing, uh, through inner healing prayer, to invite Jesus into that and to, to be the comforter, to be the healer. So that's what's going to be happening March 3rd from 2 to 3.30. This is a great... Uh, addition to our Lenten walk as we're exploring spiritual formation. So we know yeah. healing is a big piece of our spiritual formation. So please come and invite someone that you know who might really benefit from this. And maybe it is, you know, someone who's experiencing some deep loss in their life. And invite them to come uh, on 2 to 3.30 on March 3rd into the sanctuary and to experience uh, what Janet will be leading us in. We have a, we have such a fortune to have Janet here. Uh, she does work out in Pittsburgh. She does it throughout Africa. But however, right here at St. Mary's and leading it, it's just uh, thank you for sharing the gift that God has given you. Well, thank you, Christian. It's so great to be um, invited. <laughs> so please, you are invited. Come uh, this next Tuesday, March 3rd, from 2 to 3.30 in the sanctuary. God bless you, and uh, we'll see you there. Bye. Thanks. Hope to see you there.